it's time we sit down and have a real discussion about forward-facing sonar. If you're new to the channel, I'm Steve Chapman of Get Your Fish On, and today it's all about does forward-facing sonar help or hurt bass fishing? So if you're unsure what forward-facing sonar is, well, look it up on another channel. Forward-facing sonar is a, it's, it's a sonar that you can tell where the fish are. It's not something that we had back in the past. We could tell depths and changes like that. Now with these forward-facing sonars, you can tell a 360 around the boat, but more importantly, forward-facing sonar allows you to find out or see what the bass is doing to the bait that you're throwing. By this, it means you can throw a certain lure, find, the, find a big bass, throw a certain lure, and see what its reaction to that bait is. Does it move away from it? Does it go after it? This allows professional anglers a better opportunity to catch fish. Now, in the past, we didn't have this. And there's a lot of people that are older anglers or older my age, because I'm 51, that didn't have this kind of technology when we started fishing. I want to make it very clear. I'm not for it, but I'm not really against it. And here's my reasoning. And I want you to put your reasonings in the comments below. For me, I don't like watching a bass fishing tournament with the guys looking down like this all the time. I think a majority of the people, majority of the bass anglers, people who watch fishing on television have that same, uh, uh, we are all in agreement. It doesn't make watching fishing fun and it kind of takes a little bit out of the drama that happens. So before you comment and tell me what you think, I hope you would hit that subscribe and like button and be part of the team. There's all sorts of stuff about lures and tackle and all sorts of stuff on the channel that will help you become a better angler. We need to be very clear. If you're not using forward-facing sonar and you're a professional angler, you're probably not being very successful. There's pros and cons to both sides. The pros as a professional fisherman is it allows you to see what that bass is doing or where the bass are or how many bass are in that school of fish or the depth or what and so forth. But knowing the reaction that the bass have on the bait that you're throwing allows them to catch more. The perfect example is, is if you're a, for me, I am a graphic designer. I wouldn't go back to my office and want to use a computer from 1995. As a professional angler, you want to use all the tools you can to be successful. And forward-facing sonar makes anglers successful. If you're very proficient at it and you know what you're looking for, you will find fish and you will catch them. Again, as a the con of that is, it doesn't really make fishing fun. But is it here to stay? Yes. As much as it stinks, there's a lot of people that don't like forward-facing sonar. And I understand that. I agree with you in a lot of a lot of that because I do think it takes the fun out of fishing. I think most people like seeing guys go out and find a school of fish by blind casting or, or knowing the water well enough. And forward facing sonar kind of takes that out of the, out of their wheelhouse. You can go out and scan the whole pond, lake, and find stumps and other things where bass are hiding. It also helps when you start going up north where you see smallmouth on rocks and stuff like that. Forward-facing sonar is really crucial for tournament anglers. It sucks when you're watching it on MLF or Bassmaster, but it's here to stay, unfortunately. I think if you're a weekend angler getting forward-facing sonar, if you can afford it, by all means, get it. Does it take away some of the, the skill and the learning process? Yes, you're going to catch more fish because if you are dialed into your forward-facing sonar, you will find fish faster. Learning for myself and a lot of older anglers, we took the time to go to a lake and figure it out. Figure out what they're eating, how they're doing things. As a, a, a bank pond angler, I have a pond that I call uh, the Topwater Johnny Pond. May you rest in peace. 
it took me two or three times to go fishing there to figure out what was going on. It wasn't that I was fishing wrong, but I needed to know what the fish were targeting because you can go to a lot of places and throw a chatterbait or throw a swim bait or throw a worm, whatever it is, and catch fish. In this case, I needed to know where the deeper parts of it was. Having that, having forward-facing sonar and other that other technology allows anglers to go out there and learn the lake faster. But again, as a as a weekend warrior, it might take a little bit, might take the fun out of it. This topic has been scrutinized almost nonstop for the last several years. There are a lot of pros and there are a lot of cons to each one, but really does it make bass fishing better for us? That's the question. That's what I want to know the, your answer to. For me personally, I think that if I was a professional angler, I would have it on my boat. Unfortunately, as a bass fishing watcher and someone who loves to go on Bassmaster and keep up with all the pros and, and major league fishing, those guys that do that are dialed into forward facing sonar are the ones that are doing well. Can you have the success that John Cox had for years? Yes, you can by fishing shallow and doing stuff. But slowly and surely, the whole professional community is getting on board to forward facing sonar. It is a exceptional tool that helps them catch more fish or catch bigger and better fish. And if you're out there trying to win money, it is crucial. Does it suck to watch a guy just look down consistently and only make certain casts? Yes, it does. Because we're used to seeing people, There's there was a time where KVD and those guys would make cast after cast after cast. They were blind casting until they found a school. Do using different baits, using different styles of bait, using reaction baits versus Cinco's or stuff on the bottom. That doesn't happen as much now. These anglers are looking down, seeing what happens on the first or second cast with a certain bait, changing it and staying off them a little bit so they can get, they can trigger the response or trigger a bite from those fish. And as much as it sucks, again, we're kind of stuck with it. So I want you to comment below and tell me what you think of forward facing sonar. Do you think it should be banned from fishing tournaments? Does it make your you watching fishing tournaments, you know, kind of stink, kind of go, okay, what, what are we doing? What, what's going on here? I know that I've watched a couple tournaments where they've shown what the bass are doing. They've shown a live version of the person casting and then they have the side sonar of what's happening in the water. And when you can see that bait go by a specific bass and you can see what the reaction is. And I appreciate that, but does it make me a better angler? No, it doesn't. If I don't have forward facing sonar, I don't use it. I don't really want to see it. The same time I do want to see it because it's more interesting than just watching someone with their head down looking for fish. There's no more casting, cast after cast. They're looking for something on that sonar and then casting at that. So again, tell me what your thoughts are. Should we ban it from tournament fishing? That should be the first question. Do you have it? Do you use it? Do you like it? That's what I want to know. Thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button. Make sure you take a kid fishing. Get your fish on. I'll talk to y'all soon. Thank you and cheers.